Hodor is on the road to Castle Black, along with Bran, Rickon, Osha and the Direwolves, Summer and Shaggy Dog. Bran continues to dream about chasing the Three-Eyed Raven. In his dreams, he also encounters a strange boy, who he later meets while awake. The boy turns out to be Jojen Reed, accompanied by his sister, Mira. Jojen possesses the rare gift of seeing the past and present through his dreams, and is able to speak with Bran through the dreams. Jojen tells Bran that he is a wag, someone who can control the minds of animals. He listens intently when Osha uses her lover, Bruni, who became a white during the conflict beyond the wall, whom she later killed, as an exemplar of the dangers beyond the wall. After seeking shelter in a derelict windmill during a rainstorm, the group notice a band of wildlings chasing down an old man. The sounds of thunder terrify Hodor, who shouts out in panic. Fearing discovery, Jojen tells Bran to silence Hodor, who keeps panicking. Bran unintentionally uses his warg powers to render Hodor unconscious. With the wildlings still outside, Jojen convinces Bran to warg through Summer and Shaggy Dog outside, who then maul to some of the wildlings to death. While in control of Summer and Shaggy Dog, Bran saw Jon Snow outside fighting the wildlings. He tells Osha to take Rickon with her to the last half. Bran bids a tearful Rickon farewell, who leaves with Osha and Shaggy Dog, while Bran continues northward with Hodor, Summer and the Reed siblings. Later, the group arrives at the wall and stay overnight in an abandoned castle. During the night, Samuel Tarly, with Gilly and her child, meet Bran and the Reeds in the castle. Samwell, noticing the gigantic Hodor and Summer, realizes who Bran is and offers to take them to Castle Black. They refuse and Jojen tells Sam that they are going beyond the wall, as no force in the realm of Westeros could withstand the threat posed by the White Walkers. Sam reluctantly gives them the obsidian blades as well as obsidian arrowheads found north of the wall, which he earlier used to slay a White Walker. True to his gentle nature, Hodor initially does not want to take the blade offered to him only taking it when directly told to do so. That night, Bran, the Reeds, Hodor and Summer finally pass beyond the wall.